Hi, you join me back on Boulder Breakers where we are playing Transport Fever 2 with me, Steve. Um, that's a rubbish intro. Um, let's get going with this episode. So, intro music and in graphic thing now, please. There we are. I hope I waited the right amount of time. So here we are back on Boulder Breakers. We're looking at the big steel and passenger station that we set up in the last episode. Um, this is actually a different recording session, so it's been about a week since I've played this map. So I'm going to spend a bit of time getting used to it again. Um, but we will just progress on through time, try and earn money, expand our network on this tiny island. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do. Um, just a, a few bits of behind-the-scenes information uh, right now. I am currently eating my dinner, which consists of a Tesco's meal deal. So if you hear munching, I'm going to try and be as quiet as possible and mute it out. But if you hear the odd munch, it's just me enjoying my cheese sandwich. So uh, if, if at any point the recording seems to cut out, it's because I've either had like a, a cheese sandwich-related issue or something else has come up. But hey-ho, we'll get on with that. So let's have a look at the map. I've not had a look around, I've literally just loaded the game and sat at the point we saved at last time. So what have we got here apart from those red figures? I don't like those, we get rid of them. Right, what have we got? That was a bit of <coughs> that was a bit of the previous sandwich coming back. Good grief, don't want any more of that. Anyway, so we've got what we've got grain here. Just gonna turn the volume down. It's too loud. Oh hope that wasn't too loud for you guys. I've turned it down a bit. I think that the levels say it was alright. It was a bit loud for me. I don't know about you guys. I've really got to get better at this, this whole recording video malarkey. Um, anyway, where are we? We've got we've got tram lines. Uh, that's all good. We set that up. We've got this, the grain train, if I remember, that goes down the roller coaster a bit here. Yep, there we are. Got a nice straight section of track going through the station. And up here, that'll allow some, some high speed trains. Speaking of which, we've got one here. We've got a Finsbury tank pulling a wake of LMS coaches. Uh, we, we love the red mismatch, but hey ho, can't always get a livery. I love I love the deep red of these LMS coaches, by the way. Uh, look, I mean, we've got we've got two people. Hurrah! That's probably not going to make much of a profit in any way, shape, or form. I need to get some. Oh, I've got some. Look, got some trams in this town already. Uh, you're going around taking one person. Uh, oh, look, it's H Samuel. They, they're the jewelers um, in, in when you're in the UK lands. Excuse me, <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, no, there is something to see here. It's a deer, antlers, reindeer. There we go. Can can you get a shift off my road, love? Yeah, it's slow and steady wins the race. Here comes tram with one person on it. Right, what we're we gonna do? Oh yeah, I, I outlined out all the uh, places we're gonna expand with dirt. <laughs> Am I actually gonna use that? Probably not. Um, but we are going to. Do have this platform already hooked up to run trains down which line? Uh, so that's actually hooked up to the iron ore line. So I'll be running trains down here through the tunnel. I'll probably come off the iron ore line underneath the coal one and in there. Let's do it. Passenger line number three. Oh, no electric yet. I like, I like electric. I'm playing another save game now actually where I've gone all electric in 1920. It's actually quite fun. Um, but it's starting to lose money, and I don't know why. That's not going to be enough clearance, Clarence. Uh, we'll try going off here. <clears throat> Good grief, I could do it sounding not like a five-year-old. Um, we'll, we'll duck down. Actually, we'll take off this track first. We'll keep it level so we don't get the ballast issues. Then we'll take you there. Then we'll go down as fast as we can. That should give us excuses for tunnels. Ah, just not quite enough clearance. Alright, so we'll take you back there, take you around a bit further, with maximum down, bring you back a bit, there we go, straight into a tunnel, yes, there we are, All right, we'll bring you level, uh, and there should still be a tunnel here, okay, we're going to press the, sh the, the shift button and down, which allows for smaller increments, until the second it pings into a tunnel, there we go, we're in a tunnel. So we're going to take the parallel line, we're going to drag that in there like that. There we go, roughly in the area we wanted the, the station. We're just going to take this back here, and we're going to drag you out flat. There we go. This road here is not really an issue, that's going to be bridged, as long as it doesn't cost 2.15 billion. And uh, we, we'll just drag you in there like that and like that. Where's my road? Road to road. Oh, that's a lovely wooden, that's actually a really nice laid out wooden bridge. We're keeping the wooden bridge. 
boom. So we're going to have a... Well, we're running in here double track. So it could be a terminal station, it could be a through, it could also be freight. We don't know. I'm just going to put a station in here. That's road stations, you imbecile. Um, passenger stations. You're going to go for 120 mil. 120 mil. 120... Um, ah, meters. Wow. Okay. Thanks for putting the road there, guys. I was trying to think of the word meters. That's just not right. Uh, can that just ping straight down there? Yep. So we're going to pop you there. Go into configuration, tracks, going to keep popping you guys in there. I don't want Cantenary, why did you put that there? I didn't want that. going to take that away. No electrification for you, how dare we electrify? God, my cat is stupid. Um, we are going to put some... Where's it gone? There we are! Oh, 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 hang on, we're going to have a... Yes, I'm not saying actual words, just making noises, but that's how this works. You're going to go for Hull, because I like Hull Paragon. Sounds like a much more fancy station than it is, Paragon. We have a little one of those going over there. We're going to put a passenger station on the other side as well, so we can get more catchment there. We're going to move you, actually. going to stagger that back like that. Uh, where's road? Got my road there, so we could drag you across the bottom there, then up to meet this road. Well, that's one hell of a climb, but... It's in. There we go. We've got this building here, so we're going to drag you along there to get the connections. Bonk. And then up to meet this road. Too steep, too steep, too steep, too steep, too steep, too steep, too steep. Fine, that's fine. Okay. So now that you are connected up, um, I'm going to just put a switch in, a little one of them diamond crossings. So I'm just going to go like that. And that's not doing it. Why aren't you doing it? And like that. Signal time. Bonk, 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 bonk. Another two there, and we need some relief ones out of the points. Okay, there we go. So these lines are currently operated by 50 mile an hour iron ore trains. So we probably shouldn't be exceeding 50 with the passenger service either, so they get clogged up behind each other. We put some more signals in here. Oh, that's facing the wrong way. We'll solve that one in a second. And delete. Got to be careful with the delete tool. If I've got sandbox mode on, you could delete anything. So you're actually waiting to come into this platform, which has the kits in here. Taking four people. Is that an improvement of the last time? We'll find out. I really hope they do actually start taking people. Uh, you know, taking people to stations. Yes. People to stations. That is roughly how this game works. Uh, we have a depot we can use here. So, small passenger train. What have we got? That's about 50. Well, we had this whole argument before, didn't we? That, that is still a really good option, to be fair. <laughs> it is. Th these are nice options. They do 50, exactly. And 1.1 million. Yeah, she'll go for one of those. And we'll go for two of those. 40 capacity. Yep, that's a nice little train. We'll go for that. You can operate from this platform, running down here to there. Seems to pick the bar. The blah, blah, blah. blah, blah. The line up nicely, so you are Brie to ball. Brie ball. There'll be other Brie ball trains as well. I'll be running in here. There's one on here. You can use these lines for more than one thing. Um, you're running half full. Why is that? Because you have a 2 to 1 ratio on logs to plankage. That is why. I need to get some more logs in there. Uh, plankage, that is a real word. We have a lot of iron ore here, so I'm going to get another one of these going. And 4.95 million, is that enough for another one of these? Nope, it's not. I love that sound, it's like, whoop, boom, no you don't. Get lost, you're poor. Um, yeah. What have we got going on there? Where's our new train? Where is it? Is it in here? I can't see the little steam, it's in there, but I can't see the little loco. Oh, there's two locos in there. It's because I built another train just now, literally just now. How would I forget? So you've got the saddle tank with some coaches, and in there is a funnel of the uh, the American Baldwin engine. And you can see there. Well, that fits really well, doesn't it? I like the look of that. That's quite nice. The black and the red work. So I think we can be using these LMS carriages pretty much everywhere. Uh, they seem pretty good. Um, I am. You know what? Making this video, I'm actually sat on the floor uh, because. It's what you got to do. You got. You got to live your. I, I'm just gonna. Hang on. You're gonna hear noises, rustling, bustling. Um, I'm gonna go and sit on my toolbox, 
Um, but I can't bother muting the, the audio, so you're, you're just going to have to hear everything just get thrown around the room. This is a professional production by someone who knows thoroughly what they are doing, trying to get as many views as possible to expand their YouTube empire. I am actually just doing this for something different outside of modding. I have actually got a mod I need to release. Oh gosh, that is a that is a very hard toolbox. I've actually got a mod I need to release. It's the Isle of Man tram mod. I might actually showcase it in this video. Um, hey, I might actually do that. I can do that. It's my video. I can do whatever I want. Hey ho, let's do this. We're gonna save the game. Oh no, wrong button. Has that broke it? No. We're gonna save the game. This is Boulder Breakers. Save that. You've got all my other save games. Brilliant, isn't it? Most of them are broken because uh, it's reached that stage now where the game tries to expand the town and it goes, Pfft. can't do it anymore. Right, so I can go back, I can load uh, options, IOM, Manx Electric Railway, yep, and Manx E. Uh. Oh, uh, what have I called the mod? St uh, steeple cab? I need to rename it. It's not, it's not named very intuitively. This is testing. This is still testing. It's still a little bit in test. There's still a few things you need to do. Anyway, I'm going to let the video get cut here right now. And it will resume later on. Here we go. I'm going to clap to cut. Oh, heck. It's done. I thought I had enough time to eat my other sandwich, but I don't. I've only got a little bit left. Well, uh, I'll put some of these trams on. We'll have a quick look at the trams. Um, that's an excuse for me just to take another bite. If you're curious... Is cheese and pickle. No, what was it? Just says it's a cheese triple. What have I got in it? Oh well, it's like cheese and pickled onion, something like that. Quite nice. Right, so um, this pack also includes freight trams, so you might as well include a freight tram somewhere. Uh, may as well. So we're going to build, for the sake of this testing this mod, actually, this is a good test. I've not tested it actually carrying freight yet, so we'll see if it works. Although, if you're on my Twitter, you probably would have already seen it working. Because uh, I cannot, simply cannot resist posting to that thing. Uh, so, we'll just put a depot. A depot? No, cargo station. It seems all the food's already near the food processing plants. Shame they can't just go there and pick it up, but you actually got to put a stop. We'll put a little one of these. Electric, uh, one platform, 10 meters, electric. So, all it's going to do is actually run around the corner. So, it's going to pop in here. Drop it off there, and it's going to run out here, down the road, and straight into here. That That is it. We can connect it up to there, so we've got the tram network connected. Uh, the tram depot is here. Uh, here they are. So these are the ones I've already released, the Max Electric Railways. These are the ones that are already on the workshop. And these are the new commissions. So this is the number 23 rebuilt and the narrow gauge one. So basically, in 1900, the Max Electric Railway had these passenger trams. And they needed a whole freight. Now, originally, they just stuck freight behind the passenger tram. Um, but, obviously, that they didn't want to do that all the time. So, they built themselves a little locomotive. Using the same technology in the trams, just shrunk down. There's no need to have it to be so long. If, you know, you're just going to have... Did I just hear a cat meow? I'm... Why is the cat yelling? Well, he's gotten himself stuck in the kitchen again. Right, okay. Back in a second. There's going to be, like, an invisible cut. I don't know why I'm telling you. You won't even notice. Of course, for all I know, it could have already happened. Was it was it seamless? Did you detect it? Did you know I did the cut? Cat's out now. He's stupid. He got himself stuck in the kitchen. He can't fit through the baby gate bars, but he also can't jump over it because he's dumb. Anyway, uh, what have we got here? Trams, yes. Uh, so they built a little one, and also this one here. This is the new one. Uh, so in 1920, they rebuilt the narrow gauge tram onto a passenger tram chassis, so it had the same wheelbase. And to make it longer, they just put two of the freight wagons here. Um, my mouse is invisible, that's stupid. But to put two of the freight wagons that they'd usually have just and put it on the chassis. So it's a really convenient single unit to carry freight. So we're going to have two of them operating this line from there to there. And this is Ickers Bridge Int Food 3. Oh gosh, 3. I absolutely hate my body sometimes. It's like, yes, you've just eaten a sandwich. I'm going to regurgitate the lot of it. Can you not, mate? I'm trying to eat food, keep it down for a reason. The reason I was eating was because I was hungry, not because I wanted it to come back again. Like this video if you also hate your body. Audience engagement. 
I'm so professional at this. Um, grain train. Looks like it's actually doing rather well for itself. There's only one wagon at the end that's just a little bit like, eh, not quite full. Let's have a look at these trams then. I need to see if they actually work. I can hear them. They've got very distinctive sound. I've put a distinctive motor sound in. There we go. Looks like they're working. It's good. Good to see if the cargo loads properly. There's a dude just stood in the middle. The lights seem to work. Got a red one at the black. Red one at the... That's a tongue twister. Red one at the back. And a white one at the front. Let's get rid of these numbers. No one likes numbers. It's, it's going to eat this car. So in reality, the Manx Electric Railway very rarely runs on the street like this, but the guy wanted the, uh, the trams to be commissioned as both rail vehicles, narrow gauge vehicles, and tram vehicles. So you had full freedom of building, because I know there's mods out there to actually allow you to build street-separated tram tracks. Um, but it's just cool to have extra freight trams. Am I right? I am right. You know it's right. You're going to use these. You're going to be like, this looks so stupid. I'm going to use it immediately. That's what you're going to do. You're going, to be, you, you're going to think to yourself, this looks like a dumb mod. You don't want like freight engines literally running across the streets, but I know full well that like, you'll have this in your game, and you'll be using this. Like This is so convenient. It takes so much stuff, and it goes at 30 mile an hour, and it's just electric trams, and it, it takes freight. Look at turn around the corner. The bogeys work, at least. It's good. Going past what well, we've got, a post office here in very low quality graphics. What shops have we got over here? Mountain Warehouse. I can tell it's Mountain Warehouse. Oh, okay, here we go. Low res, shop front quiz. Huh, this video is fantastic. Uh, that says that's a Lloyd's Pharmacy, I reckon. Uh, that's a Subway, that's easy. Um, that's a Greg's, I used to work at Greg's, so that's easy. That's Clark's, uh, Ryman's, yes. Um, uh, no, that's not our shop. What we got up here? Um, got another Mountain Warehouse, uh, another Lloyd's Pharmacy. Oh, that's easy, that's J&T Supermarket. Uh, nationwide over there. Uh, I've completely forgotten about my trams, I'll have a look at them in a second. Oh, that's Carphone Warehouse. Um, yep, no idea. Uh, oh, Santander? No, Vodafone, when that was a thing. Wow, imagine going to a phone shop. That's crazy. There's post office again. Why do I? It's not red. I do remember green post office being a thing. And what else we got down the street? Or oh, we exiting the commercial area. There's that lovely road again. And there's a, uh, there's a stop. One of our stops. Let's go back and have a look at um, more buildings. I think we've listed all the names off, haven't we? There's some. But right next to the station. That's good. Oh, look at these people. There's a crowd of people. Why are you not going to the tram stop? Why are you going this way, not to the tram stop? And why haven't you got any food on board? Oh, you haven't been yet. Okay, let's load. Do, 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 do. I'm glad the compartments work. That took quite a long time. Why didn't you pick it all up? Oh, no, the bogeys that clip through the uh, undercarriage. Oh, dear. Well, that's nothing I'm going to fix, because that's just due to transport fever's roads being extremely tight. That can just be made out by people making better roads. But yeah, it works. That's good. So, we have electric trams. Brilliant. Electric trams taking freight. Literally about 20 metres. Right. Oh, we've got some more shops. Can't resist. Supercuts. Don't know what that is, but I can read it just. Oh, Poundland! Um, that's Santander. Or was that Vodafone again? No, it's Connell's. Whatever that is. That's Subway. Total Shop. I've been there. That's brilliant Total Shop. What is this building? This is new. It looks like a transport tycoon like sprite that's been 3 d fied I like it. It works actually really well in um, in a zoom out shot like this. It, it looks like a nice little residential house. You do get these little odd houses popping up around uh, towns in the UK. It's a lot, a lot Britisher. A lot more Britisher, mate. Post office, yeah, and next to two European star buildings. Oh, you just changed colour. I swear you just changed colour. Yeah, look. Do 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 do. Why do you just change colour at a distance? Is it, uh, I'm guessing it's the LODs, but like, you can tie it, it's like, wow, okay. Um, welcome to this Transport Fever 2 video, where we don't build any transport or fever, and we just look at the Bell Pub. And we just look at shops and buildings around our towns. Um, yeah, why not? It's a video, isn't it? You'll watch it, you're watching it now, aren't you? Why are you, why are you watching this? Like, what you could be doing something instead of just watching me have a tour around a fictional town. Let's build a train. I've got 14 million. Where's my coal trains? I want more coal trains. Coal train, where are you? There's no coal train here. There's also no coal. Why? Why, why, is, why is there absolutely no coal? You're not... I've severed the connection to the industry somehow. That's neat. I didn't know you could just randomly do that. I wonder how that happened. I have no idea. Um, let's 
tram tram tracks is a no. How do I reconnect this? Let me build it there. There we go. Coal, summon. Okay, maybe it's not a good idea to build another coal train now. How's our little passenger line doing? One person, right? Seven people! That's actually the most we've had. Thirteen people? This is actually the most successful passenger line we have. How many are on you? Two! How many waiting here? None. How many are on you? Seven! Ooh! We they will get full at some point. The towns will expand enough for them to get full. There'll be enough demand. It's just a matter of getting them in, getting them in early. So it's um, end of the sentence. That never that never happened. That sentence just stopped. So let's have a look what we've got going on here. Then we need more. Do we need more of anything? Are they? Are they? Is this? Are they? Are they? Are they? Are they? Is this producing enough? You've got a load of planks, a load of steel. The only thing stopping you is actually your consumers. So we probably need to take some. Of this goods here. Actually, you need food over here, don't you, Boulder Bay? Are you near the food district station? Kinda. Not too far. I reckon we can expand to that. We'll take the track from here. Can it go... Will it let me go underneath this road? Can I tunnel? Yes, okay, we're having an underground railway here. So if I bring that back up, and then use M&N... It does go underground. That's good. I don't want it to be underground the whole way, or do I? What's the uh, closest I can go? There, there we go. So if I build it there, then delete this end bit, that should now form over land. There we are. So we're now edging our way back up. And it's put bloody power on it again. Actually, if I have a mostly underground railway, electricity might be good. Um, we do have electric trains. I've just modded them into the game. Uh, hmm. But they only do 30 mile an hour, so maybe not. But I do want to use them. Wow. <laughs> Big think time brain. Do power move. Uh, no, it has to run across a 50 mile an hour line. We'll use them at another point. That's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll use them. They're available forever. And we're just going to... Uh, I shouldn't have gone to the surface, should I? No, continue building around here. See now, yeah, you 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 do surface, but if I can do that, you can probably hear that bang, 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 bang. That's me hammering the end key. Bring you under there. Hold shift to unsnap, by the way. Right, so we have a big arc of track going under there, and there'll be a little station just in here for food. 120 meters, will that be too big? That's too big. 80 meters, tiny little food station. No catenary for now. Yeah, that sits in there nicely. Okay, we will take you round to the buildings on the other side. That snap on? That has? Yep, it's only deleted all the buildings onto deliver to, but that's fine. Uh, you aren't connected. You are connected, and too much slope, too much slope, too much slope. Damn it. Um, yeah. Right, so we're going to build up. Like that, and then up like... Okay, how far down are we? Oh, okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, 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 good, 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 yeah. I'm glad I looked. Okay, how am I going to get this to the surface? I'm glad I asked. Good thing it doesn't cost the billions again. Excuse me, I'm building a road here. Do you mind? There we go. So now do you capture that food in that area? Yes, much of it is captured, although much of it is not. But better than none. So we're going to run a food train down here. It's going to run through this passenger station. I'm going to take the opportunity here to extend this line as well. So we're going to parallel the tunnel going in. And then we're going to come out here in the tunnel. And we're going to surface just round the corner. For a little suburban thing. Wow, that's really close to the water. We need to change that. Um, too much slope still. Still too much slope. That's not, for some reason, too much slope. That's brilliant. Right, we'll, we'll delete that end bit. We'll get some reclamation of the land going on here. So we're going to take... Oh, that's really close. That's 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 going to flood. Like The next wave that comes in is going to flood that. Just going to even out the land here just a little bit more. Um, no, that's even closer. Okay, so we're going to seem to go up a tiny, 
tiny little bit, tiny little bit, and then now we've got a large section. We can just claim all that. There we go. Let the town build there. That should help. We're gonna just reclaim that piece of land. That's fine. Didn't cost us much money. We're gonna just smooth it out. So the line now has a real steep climb up here to a station right on the outskirts. So we can, can pull the track round, pull it flat. Buildings going to go for just a really small passenger terminus. I'm not going to extend beyond this station. This is the terminus of this line. This is very much like a metropolitan underground line. If I have underground trains enabled, I will most likely use them on this line. I have developed a Sean Connery. <clears throat> if I have underground trains available, I shall most definitely use them on this line. There we go. Uh, so what sort of people do you capture there? You capture like eight houses, but that's eight people. And that will expand this way, no doubt. No doubt, no doubt. So you guys need some signals coming into the station, there and there. You've got your crossover, so this line will go in here, and it will stop here, and... Uh, I think that's it. So we're going to build a train for that real quick, a very small train. We need a teeny tiny little one. This would be a perfect time to actually use the trams. So, here we go. We're going to be using the trams. Let's electrify this line. After me saying, let's not electrify anything, we're going to use the trams. So, tools. Electrify this stretch. Um, the trams need to get down here somehow. We'll just drag them with the locomotive and then upgrade the train when we get there. Um, because we're playing in a real game here, it seems. So, we're going to just take a, what, a summer car. No, we'll take a 1900 saloon. That should be enough. And we're going to just drag them with a steam engine. Um, that'll just do. We'll just use that. It's cheap. And we will upgrade that when we get to our destination. Gonna just put you there to there. So I'm gonna have this as a new thing. So we can have BOU, and instead of INT, that's like road services, it's gonna be Metro. In, so that's Boulder, Metro, 1. And I'm gonna have more and more of these little internal train lines. They don't often get any money, but it's just different, isn't it? So let's actually see. A, a unit drag because this is something that you can do in the game to get non electrified trains to electrified sections if you don't have a depot. I'm going to try and just use this one depot for as much of it as I can. So he says, with two other depots on screen. Let's not build anymore, let's keep it as is. If I need to build a, a new train, I have to bring it from a depot, and if it's electrified, I've got to drag it. Here we go. As you can hear, it's making electric noises, but we've got the little engine on the front, the little Havila. So it's a tiny tank engine that I modded in one day years ago. Um, I think for Transport Fever 1, I saw a picture and I was like, I want to make that. And that was back in the days where I didn't have, like, you know, a commitment to life. So I could just sit down for like four hours and go, I want to make that. And then four hours later, I'm like, I made that. But also, it wasn't as anywhere near high quality as the engine you see behind you. Uh, and also, it's not coupled. So the tram is actually pushing the engine somehow. But yeah, they, they, they are coupled. So we're going to 25 mile an hour. We're going to hold up the entire. The entire main line getting this there. Can we actually upgrade this a little bit to a 30 mile an hour, please? I don't want to sit here going that slow. Something that goes at 30. 25, 25. One of Grimm's engines, they do 40, that'd be fine. Take to the front. There we go. Little, little, five, 5 mile an hour doesn't make much of a difference, but hey ho. Oh, have I actually used the wrong tram here? I have. That's the narrow gauge version. People would have seen that and noticed. I'm pretty sure I will use that. Right, uh, multiple units, electric, uh, we need to use the 1435 version, 1900, 1435 being the track width in millimetres. There we go, now that matches. So they've got the, st they've got the narrow gauge version, which is 1000 mil, where the actual, the actual trams weren't 1000 mil, um, but for compatibility reasons, they are. There's a lot of 1000 mil stuff out there, a lot of track work for it. Um, if you really want to, it's like 913 mil. But, yeah, just make it a 1,000. It fits the tram lines, it fits the narrow gauge lines that everyone else uses, so it's for for that reason entirely. So we're just dragging this to our station, where we will uncouple this engine, vanish it into the ether, just go, and the tram then can run on its little extension. How long are we in the video? It's totally different from you from me, because I've, I've obviously had to sit through a loading screen, and then I had a really clean cut while I went and let my cat out the kitchen, because he's dumb. Um, so, for me, I've been recording for half an hour. The video is probably about, what, 10 minutes long? We'll find out. Uh, I'm just going to keep going for another 10 minutes or so. We'll, we'll let this tram get to its stop, do a run, we'll put on the food train as well, and we'll call it a day. Uh, well, I'll call it a day. I'll, um, I'll end the recording, then immediately start another one. Because well, it's not often I get evenings like this where I can just sit down for a few hours and record, where I've not got a, uh, a mod to work on, because the process of mod this mod is testing it. 
so I'm testing it, he says. I really just can't be bothered. I need to release it. I'll release it tomorrow morning. Um, i just got to do all the, the usual things. So with a mod, you have to put on like a, a description for the Steam Workshop. You've also got to take pictures of the mod for the workshop overview, the workshop preview. Then you've got to, I've got to edit that image. You've got to make sure it uploads. You've got to actually make sure the uploaded version works. Uh, and I can't be I can't be bothered with that tonight. I've had a long day. I've been all the way to another town, and I I went to Hobbycraft. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm pooped. So uh, this is this evening. I'm just talking at a computer uh, while my family are in bed. Yep, I am the epitome of family life. Anyway, let's let's not keep rambling on about my life. You want to see a tram do tram things? So we're going to get to the station and we're going to vaporize this engine. Come on, engine. It's sad to see you go. You've served us well. When you stopped, I will delete thee. There we go. Now the tram's on this electrified section. And off it goes. Taking all of no people. What's happened with this tunnel? No, do not just go through there. What's happened here? That should be a double... I swear that was a double portal. Delete that. Tracks, yes, electric. Double port. That, that says double portal. Drag that to there. So we're going to split the track once it's inside. What? Why are you? Why are you suggesting you should be overground for that? Okay, we delete. Is that one piece of track? That, I need to delete this piece. It's building in the way. Oh well. Sucks to be you. You to there to there. Why why are you not in a tunnel now? What? What? Okay. Re rebuild the whole tunnel then. There's the tram. Okay, it's still double portal. Still double. Okay, that's how it should have been. It's really weird. And you can see the split. Oh, camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Professional. Right, onwards. Tram, do your thing. Climb the hill. I don't. I don't like these rocks precariously positioned there. Let's flatten this out. Oh no! I have. I have. I've flooded the railway. That's bad. Should not have done that. So the the railway's built below sea level. So whenever I level the land out for the railway, I also level the sea level. Oh well. So we're going into this station. It doesn't need to be 80, 80 meters long at all if it's going to have these tiny vehicles here. So we're just going to delete that bit. Some people will use it eventually. It's just nice. It exists. It is nice. It's not hurting anyone. No one's using it, but people are using that line. It'll bring people in. They'll transfer. Food train! So we need to get food, actually, to here. To take the food down the line. So that will require a food tram. But what we're going to do for now is... Oh, just a truck. We're going to build our train to carry the food. Uh, something small. So we go for a little one of them. These are nice, actually. They do 50. Yep. What's our wagons, actually? What have we got for cargo wagons? You see, these only do 26 mile an hour. I thought they did 30. They do 26. I've learned a thing. Um, oh, yeah, they've got these 60 mile an hour ones from Grimm. I don't really like using them. They feel a bit overpowered, but I think today they'll be fine because they're not going to go at 60 at all. So we're just going to build some of these to have a nice-looking little consist. We'll put the brake van at the end. V-A-N. Yes, that's how you spell van. Oh, we've got these as well. I, I like those. They're, they're, they're fun. When we've got a bit more money, we'll build some of those. And um, we're going to go with locomotive. Um, small. Yes, something. So, uh, we'll, we'll go for a grim consist. Um, these only do 40, but that's fine. A little side tank. Lovely little train. Take you from there to right in the heart of the city. So you're B O U F U U D, yes. Um, right. So you need to get food from here to there. Since we've already got loads of stuff going on in this little industrial section, we will build a building, road building that is. One of these. Can I just pop it there? The trucks will just come in, spin around on the spot, and leave. Uh, we'll get a truck. We'll use one of you. We'll use two of you. New line. Going from thither to hither. And you are BRE food transfer. Brilliant. Right, okay, let's hope that makes 
um, money. Well, it won't make money. Well, it might actually. The little transfer line might make a bit of money, but I'm hoping they'll take enough across town for the to fill up the food train because that won't be doing very frequent runs. And at the moment, this place ain't producing a whole lot of food. Is this grain farm producing everything it can? You you are trying maximum hard. Okay, and the grain train is not even full. Oh, okay. Maybe we need to hook up this other grain farm here. Oh, I've had an idea. Brain fart. No, brain not fart. What's the opposite of a fart? Well, it's a good a good one. Brain idea. Wow. Okay. This is really not a very coherent video. I'm right, gonna have two of these tracks here, and we're gonna go for a, another station here. One of you for 80 meters with electricery. I'm gonna pop you there. And gonna connect you to you. Ye. Tools, no. Signals, no. Buildings, yep. Gonna pop one of these there. Uh, oh no, I did say I was gonna use that one depot. Will do. I will do what I promised. So we will pull the track in there. We're gonna have to have another drag. Because that's fun. So that's going to have a grain train obviously shuttling there, and I've obviously got plans for electric, doesn't take a genius. So, the depot to build a train to go on that line, I've just deleted. Uh, it hurts being me sometimes, I'm so stupid. Where can we build a connection point for that depot? We can't. Okay, well we're going to have to just build one down here. And uh, call it a lose, lose situation. Build another one here. Is that not that's not flat with a, with the railway at all, is it? Build that down, up, brilliant, and in there like that. Come on. So we're going to be dragging another small electric train. So if I pick for electric locomotives, we're going to go for the standard gauge version of this with some cargo wagons. Uh, you take grain, so these. We've got 80 meters, so about that many electric locomotive. Another one at the end. And a steam locomotive to pull it. Um, should we go for something ridiculously overpowered for what we need to do? Should we go for, like, Fury? Let's have Fury pull this train, and then we'll delete it. And pull that to there. And what, once this train's done this, we'll call it a day. So this is going to be um, grain shuttle one. It's already grain waiting there. So we've got a ridiculously overpowered 460 now pulling the, the grain train. This is going to be difficult, actually, because you've now gotten in the way. So if I'm just going to pop you facing the other way, let you run in there. You need to be behind this train. There we go. So here we have Fury, the high-pressure LMS prototype express engine, pulling some electric trains and wagons to get to their destination at 30 miles an hour. So this is going to be... Another one of those fun moments. We'll just wind it forward this time, but it's still it's still entertaining. It's a little bit funny. Needs to get to see Fury before I've actually used it on a proper a proper, a proper passenger train. My phone's shouting at me. What do you require? Right. Okay. Let's get this train to the end, and we'll, we'll call it an episode there, shall we? Once once this has arrived, we'll, we'll call it there. Making weird sounds. It's like the um, the the sounds for the chuffs aren't quite working properly. <laughs> right, go train, go under the bridge, under to the bridge. Lots of emissions going on here. Lots of steam. And go through here. Once you get onto this line, I'm going to evaporate the fury. Oh no! It is an electric path. I've built it. It is electric. What do you want about? What do you want, mate? I've done this before, right? This isn't. Yes, okay, it's working. So, that's this video. Join me for the next video, which will happen for me immediately. For you, <laughs> a few days, whenever I get to render this out. I don't know. Oh, an autosave. Perfect timing. 